Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Hyundai Kona, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So our wiring is gonna plug into our vehicle's taillight system. We'll need to get access to our driver's side taillight and our two bumper taillights. We're gonna start by getting access to our driver's side taillight through our cargo area. So we're gonna need to remove our flooring. Next, we're gonna remove this storage tray. Now we're gonna remove our rear threshold panel. It's held in by two push pins, and we're gonna remove those using a flathead screwdriver. And then we're just gonna pull up on it. And then we'll set this aside. Next, on the bottom of the driver's side paneling, we're gonna remove three screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Now we're gonna pull back on our driver's side paneling. Now we're going to unplug this harness right here for that light so we can get a little bit more room to get better access to our driver's side taillight harness. Now we're gonna unplug this by pushing on the tab on top. Now we're gonna take our T connector with the red and brown wire and we're gonna plug it into that harness. Now we're going to pull out our white wire with the ring terminal and we're going to ground it right underneath where our rear threshold panel goes using the provided self-tapping screw. Now we're going to connect our power wire to our black wire on our converter box. We're going to be using a U-Haul exclusive power wire that has protective loom on it to help protect it from the elements. Now we're just going to connect it using a heat shrink buck connector. And then we'll use a butane torch to use the heat shrink. Now at the bottom of our driver's side paneling, we're gonna remove this grommet. We're just gonna pull up on it. And now we're gonna take all of our remaining wires and we're gonna push them down underneath our vehicle. Now we're gonna take our grommet, we're gonna cut a slit halfway through. Now we're gonna put all of our wires into that slit. and then we'll put it back into place. Now we're gonna take the provided black silicone and we're just gonna seal off that slit. All right, now that we're done in our cargo area, we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. Now underneath our vehicle, we're going to connect our yellow T connector to our driver's side bumper taillight harness. If you look up through the bumper to the taillight, you can see it plugged in, but it's kind of way up there and it's a tight fit. So if you're not able to reach up there on your own and unplug it and then plug in the T-connector, we can partially remove the bumper to give us more access up here. To partially remove our bumper, we have one push pin down here and we'll remove it with a flathead screwdriver. We have two screws on the bottom of the wheel well, two screws towards the top of our wheel well, and one screw above our bumper taillight. And we'll remove all of these screws with the Phillips bit. Now with all of our screws out, we're going to pull back on our bumper. We're just gonna follow our seam right here. So this gives us a little bit more room to get access to our driver's side bumper taillight. So we're gonna push on the tab right here. We're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna reach down and we'll grab our yellow T connector. And then we'll go ahead and plug that in. We'll do that on both sides. With our driver's side plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and put our bumper back together. Now we're gonna take our green T connector and we're gonna route it to our passenger side bumper tail light through our bumper support. So we'll bring it over our bumper beam and our hitch. And then we'll bring it through our bumper support. Now on the passenger side, we're gonna remove this underbody panel. 
It's held in by two push pins, and we're gonna remove those using a flat head screwdriver. And one plastic nut, which will be removed using a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll pull down on our panel. With the underbody panel out of the way, we're gonna follow the same steps as we did on the driver's side to plug in our green T connector. With everything plugged in on both sides of our vehicle and put back away, we're ready to run our power wire to our battery in our engine compartment. Now, when running it underneath our vehicle, we want to avoid anything hot or that is moving to avoid damaging our wire. So we're gonna bring it through our hitch first. And then we're gonna go over our brake lines to go over the exhaust. We're gonna zip tie it so that it stays nice and high. And we're gonna to continue to follow these brake lines. Now we're gonna bring it over this cross member and follow these brake lines up and around our tank. Now that we have our wire to the end of this underbody panel, we're gonna lower the end of this by removing these nuts using a 10 millimeter socket. Now you can see all the brake lines going up towards the engine compartment. So we're gonna take our power wire, we're gonna bring it up around it. And then we're gonna zip tie it right here to the beginning of this panel. And we're gonna take our wire, we're just gonna tuck it up behind this panel. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall it. Now that we've reached our engine compartment, we're just gonna follow our brake lines and then we're gonna push it up. So now we'll pull up the rest of our remaining wire. And then we're gonna bring it around our battery to keep it nice and clean. Now we're gonna connect it to our positive terminal on our battery. We're gonna remove this nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna connect our fuse holder to our black power wire. On our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. And now we'll take the terminal on the end of our fuse holder we'll connect it to our positive terminal. Now we're going to insert our provided 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder. And then we'll put on our cap. So we have a lot of extra wiring, so we're gonna just bundle it up and we're gonna zip tie it down here to this existing loom. And then we'll take our fuse holder and we're just gonna tuck it up right here next to our fuse box. Now we're ready to secure our four flat harness. We're gonna bring it right here next to our hitch receiver and we're gonna bring it over our bumper support just like we did with our green T connector. So a lot of people will just leave their wiring dangling right here next to the receiver. But if it drops down, it can get damaged by being dragged on the ground. So we're gonna mount it using a four flat mounting bracket. This is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. So to install this, we're just gonna line it up on our bumper where we'd like it to be. And we're gonna use a 3 drill bit and we're gonna drill our first hole. Then we'll take our provided hardware and we'll bring it into the hole. And then we'll secure our bracket using the provided nut. Now we're gonna make sure it's nice and square and then we'll repeat on the second hole. and then we'll tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna put our dust cover on. And then we'll bring it into our bracket. And then secure the dust cover. And we're gonna zip tie our extra wire behind our bumper support. With your wiring powered up and secured, you're ready to tow a trailer. So that wraps up our install in our video. Thank you for watching. 
If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.